In this unit circle survival guide, we'll use the SARC method to find the exact value of sine of negative pi over 6. So here's our template, S being sketch the angle, A for ASTC, which helps us decide if our exact value sine should be positive or negative, R for reference triangle and finding the coordinates we'll use, and C for calculate to perform the calculation for the trig ratio we want. And so we're trying to find the sine of negative pi over 6. So we'll start with step 1. Sketch the angle. And our angle is negative pi over 6. Now remember, when there's a negative with an angle, that's simply telling you the direction of the rotation. So we should be rotating in the clockwise direction when there's a negative sign. OK, so from our standard position on the positive part of the x-axis, we simply rotate pi over 6 and we'll get an angle with a terminal side in the fourth quadrant. Now, if you weren't comfortable with negative angles, you could always find an angle that is coterminal to negative pi over six. So we'll quickly do a little scratch work for that. To find a coterminal angle, all you need to do is add two pi radians to your angle because that's a full rotation. Okay, so if we're adding two pi, we really should write that as 12 pi over six so that we rewrite 2 pi as a common denominator, or where it has a common denominator of 6. And you'll see that negative pi over 6 is coterminal with 11 pi over 6. So if you were more comfortable working with 11 pi over 6, you could find the sign of that, and it would be the exact same value. All right, so our angle is sketched. Our terminal side is in the fourth quadrant. And now we can move on to our second step, where we would determine the sign of our exact value. So ASTC is an acronym for all students take classes, and it tells us which trig functions are positive in each quadrant. So starting in the first and working our way around counterclockwise, all are positive in the first, sine and its reciprocal cosecant are positive in the second, all the other four are negative, tangent and cotangent are positive in the third, and cosine and its reciprocal secant are going to be positive in the fourth. We're trying to find the sine, and so we, might, we know that our exact value should be negative in the fourth quadrant because sine is negative in the fourth quadrant. All right, let's go ahead and mark that for our final answer. We'll have a negative here. And now we can move on to step three and find our reference angle for our special right triangle. All right, so our reference angle is simply the amount of rotation to get from the terminal side to the x-axis. So we know we rotated clockwise pi over six, so that's going to be our reference angle pi over six or 30 degrees, if you're thinking in terms of the special right triangles. So our 30 degree triangle looks like this in the first quadrant, and we're going to use the special right triangle to remind ourselves of the coordinates that go with this particular point. We don't have to worry about positive and negative, even though we're in the fourth quadrant, we've already taken care of that in step two. So we simply need to see that the longer leg is the horizontal leg. So our x coordinate must be root three over two, and our shorter leg is the vertical leg. So that must be one half for our y coordinate. And now we're ready to calculate our exact value. So we know on the unit circle, the sine of our angle is simply going to be the y coordinate. And that's because our hypotenuse is one on a unit circle. Okay, so we can look at our y coordinate the value will be one half. We've already decided that our final answer will be negative because this is sine in the fourth quadrant. So our final answer is negative one half for the sine of negative pi over six. Be sure to check the links in the video description for more worked examples of exact values. Thank you so much for watching.